This avocado hair moisturizer is the game changer. It will keep your hair moisturized in weeks. I'm telling you, this is very, very effective. And I call it two-in-one because I use it as a conditioner and also a moisturizer. So I use it on my little girl and this is her hair. And I use it to achieve this juicy, gorgeous twist. And this is my oldest daughter. Look at how shiny those twists are. And I also use it on mine too. So this is what I use for myself. And stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to share with you how I use this to moisturize my hair and no water added to it. So let's make this hair moisturizer. Our first ingredient is water. I'm using distilled water and any hair product that water takes the biggest amount of it is going to moisturize your hair very well. So here I used two cups of water and then I take two tablespoons of colloidal oats. So here I'm going to be measuring out my ingredients. Next is emulsifying wax, two tablespoons as well. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you're liking this video so far. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Next is vegetable glycerin. My ingredients are very easy to understand because I'm making them too too. So if you want to make this hair moisturizer, it will be easy for you to follow. And if you don't want to make it as big as this, you can divide it in half. That will be easy for you to follow. Next is the main ingredient, avocado butter. The vitamins and minerals in avocado butter will work to hydrate and nourish the hair longer than other store-bought products. Pairing your preferred essential oils with avocado butter will even maximize its effectiveness. By so doing, you can guarantee that moisture will be retained for a long time, preventing breakage and controlling frizz. Avocado butter is great for hair growth. It nourishes the hair. It strengthens the scalp. It reduces hair loss. It is high in antioxidants. Avocado butter is great for deep hydration. Next is ojoba oil. Here I'm using one tablespoon of ojoba oil. A little goes a long way. And it is organic ojoba oil. By the way, all my ingredients are organic because I want something healthy to go into my body. Next is fractionated coconut oil. You can use regular coconut oil, but I like this one because it doesn't become solid. So here I use one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. Next is olive oil. I'm going to use a lot of it because olive oil is good for conditioning the hair. So here I used one fourth cup of olive oil. So I'm done with measuring out all the ingredients. Now let's make this two in one hair moisturizing butter. And like I said, I use it as conditioning cream too. So I'm adding water into the pan to put it on the stove to melt the butter and also the emulsifying wax. So here I'm going to prep what I'm going to put on the stove. So I'm putting glycerin into the water. Next, I'm adding colloidal oats into the water and I'm giving it a good mix. If you are still watching this video up to this point, thank you so much. Please give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Next, I put in emulsifying wax into a glass jar and olive oil so that it can melt in the boiling water. So these are going into the boiling water and they are going to be there for a while until they are fully melted.
So as it is in the boiling water, you keep checking and also mix the water together so that the ingredients will not settle at the bottom. And after everything was well melted, you pour all the oils or the melted butter into the water and keep mixing. So at this point, I needed to transfer it into a bigger bowl. And first, I have to allow the bowl to be a little bit warm. And when I felt that it was hot enough, I now poured in the mixture into the bigger bowl. I gave it a little whisk and then I took it out. So at this point, it's either you keep whisking it or you use an immersion blender to give it a good whisk and I normally do it two to three times. The first part is when it is still hot and you see it will change the color and after mixing everything with an electric whisk I'll keep it and the second time it must have cooled down and becomes a little bit harder. You can see that it is forming up I will do this the second time and I will keep it putting the remaining ingredients and then I leave it for it to harden up. Here I'm putting vitamin E oil and it is one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. Next is a preservative. I am also putting one teaspoon of preservative. You can make it two to keep it longer if you want. Because we use water to make this moisturizer, you need preservative. If not, your product is not gonna last long. Here I'm adding fragrance and essential oils to it. I have grapefruit essential oil, orange, peppermint, and lavender essential oil. I use the highest quality of essential oil. If you want to check it, you can go to Amazon and you see how much this peppermint essential oil costs. So I use Young Living brand. So my essential oil is healthy for me and my family and they don't cause us any harm. So we are done. You mix everything all up and leave it for it to harden. Here you can turn it into a container. Let me tell you, it's easier to turn it like this into a container because it will be easy for it to flow into it than when it becomes hardened. So here, this is the final result. It is hardened now. Let's get a container and put this. Here I have four ounce container two four ounce containers i got it from amazon so you don't have to buy a container you can reuse your old container so this is what i'm talking about when it is a little bit watery it is easy for you to turn it into a container but when it is kind of hardened so it comes out like this but it is the final result and I just wanted to show everything before putting it into a container. So I am done putting it in this container. This is how it is. This is the finished look. And let's try this. Look at how it glides into my skin. Avocado butter is very, very good for skin and also for your hair and scalp. So if you have a travel bottle which I advise you to this will make a good one so that you have a good product at home and you don't have it wherever you go to so this is very very recommendable while on the go you take this along and I like it myself because when we are going out with my family I like taking it along with me so it is recommendable and this is a reusable container 
Let me know in the comments what product was in this container. And I took the label off so that I won't get into trouble. And I, I usually reuse it and you saw it in the beginning of this video. That's what I use for my girls. I usually use it. I have stopped buying leave-in conditioner or hair moisturizer. This is what I use. I use this reusable container for my household because it is big and it takes a lot. So let me know in the comments what product was in this container let me know if you are right i'm going to tell you that you're correct please let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know if you are going to make it thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned to see how i apply this on my dry hair and now it will moisturize my hair and just change my hair from dry to moisturize no water added Thank you so much for watching. So this is me, my dry hair. So watch as my hair transform. So this was the final result. Can you imagine? No water, no oil, but the oils and water in the product was just enough to moisturize this hair and took it from dry to fully moisturized. And stay tuned in my next video because I'm going to show you how I braided my hair with no water, just the avocado two-in-one conditioning and moisturizing cream and this was the result please come back to watch that video i'm gonna link it at the end of this video please like this video subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts in the comments below and this was the day four look at that thanks for watching